the universe was smaller then, right? The length scales were different. It was hot, dense, temperature, high temperature, all not expanded as much as we are now. So it's almost like everything was part of that same cosmic soup that it's like everything is more unified at that time. So uh, Big Bang, in other words, is a model that's kind of exploiting that, well, you know, things could have been very, very unified back then. And things are, of course, very different now. So it's almost like a way to explain uh, it away, if you will. The farther into the past we travel, the smaller and hotter the universe becomes. The smaller and hotter. Keywords smaller, keywords hotter, right? I already said it's very, it was very hot. Temperature is very, very high compared to now. And smaller is the other thing, right? Because at this point, we have expanded a lot uh, because of dark energy. There is this anti-gravity uh, phenomena in the universe that makes it expand. Literally, the distance between two points get bigger and bigger over time at large scales in the universe, which is called the expansion of the universe. Dark energy is what uh, is quoted as being the phenomena that enables this. It works against gravity to do that. But back then, long time ago, less expansion, more hot, more small, right? So the further into the past we travel, the smaller and hotter the universe becomes. We are living now at an epoch about 15 billion years after the Big Bang, 14 or 15 billion years after the Big Bang. The microwave background was produced at about 300,000 years after the Big Bang. We know that. I told you the universe was around 300,000 years old at that time. The nuclear furnace did its cooking in the first few minutes. Pushing our understanding of the universe to earlier times requires knowledge of how matter behaves at energies above those achieved in nuclear reactors. So it's almost like we see the matter now, but what they might have undergone back then, well, those conditions were very special, right? So it's almost like, oh, don't ask me to explain it now under these circumstances when actually it was those circumstances where things might have looked very different, right? So it's kind of it's kind of the, the 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 feeling here. Experiments that can probe such phenomenal scales of energy can only be constructed at enormous cost. 